Hello, I'm Dimitrios Theologitis. I work at the European Commission in uh, Transport. It's been now quite a long time that I work there, it's 32 years. Uh, but I need to go back for when I started, right after my studies. For me it was so obvious that I would come and work here. Being a Greek, I have always felt that humankind goes from smaller things to larger things. We start as human beings, then we create villages, towns, countries, alliances, unions, and this goes on. This is the way nature works, and we see it even more. It's not just the European Union, we also have the United Nations, and there the real world comes together. And we are here in this wonderful continent, Europe, for which I have been working for all these years. It is, I have been in uh, language technology, in road safety, in shipping policy, in maritime security, in port policy, in inner navigation. Wonderful themes that have to do with people, because transport is for people. This is what we do. Looking back over these years, I think I can have some satisfaction. When we first, in 2001, when we proposed the Road Safety Action Plan, which actually, after 10 years of hard work, is saving 20,000 lives per year. This is something that anybody, not only me, but the whole Commission, everybody can be proud of. We save one town per year, which otherwise would have gone wasted on the road. When we look at maritime matters, where we bring people together, where we reduce administrative burden, when we, where we reduce red tape, we facilitate travel, People are safe when they're taking their ferries, when they travel all over. The goods come on time. They are handled in the best possible way, at the best possible prices. We have just in time. All these things are achievements which would not have happened if it were not for the European Union. I can look back also, and please bear with me for a moment, to this map, which is the map of the so-called Trans-European Network. And it is the corridors that people use to cross Europe. Can you imagine what it would mean if rules would change when we cross one country? Where I live, it's not even 100 kilometers, I have changed three countries. Of course, here we provide the same rules, the same background, the same level of security, the same level of safety, the same opportunities, the same environmental rules, everything. This is what I show to my children when they tell me, why do you work at the European Union, Father? And I say, for this, so that people can enjoy all this well-being, be protected, safe, and be prosperous and get jobs. Now, all this, of course, one never does alone. I have had excellent colleagues in my units, um, which I have directed. Uh, we have worked in confidence for the European ideal. We have worked in trust. We have worked in respect. We have uh, persevered. This is a very important thing. The Commission is not linked to the political flavor of the day. What we do is we go for the long term. We look at what will happen tomorrow and the day after tomorrow and the day after. We are like a big ship. We set out from a port and we don't mind small waves. We don't need to take that into consideration. We just steam through and we get to the other port. Maybe it's not exactly the same port that we wanted to when we started, but we get very close to where we wanted. It has been an extremely inspiring three decades that I've been working here. It is full of positive energy. We need to keep this. We're going through turbulent times. Let's believe in what we have already constructed and do more for the European citizens.